Welcome to the Light, Hope, and Healing Podcast, where we discuss why you have stress, anxiety, pain, illness, and how to heal from it. I am your host, Tracy Gorick. My background is a healing coach, energy healer, spiritual mentor, intuitive, and channel. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's podcast. This week's topic is going to be my story and how I became a healer. And I wanted to talk about this because I've seen things a lot lately about what drew me to become a healer. And um, so I wanted to share them with you. So first of all, I want you to understand in anything I say today, I'm not saying for you to not get medical care or see a doctor, etc. Okay. If you need to, you need to go to the doctor, you go to the doctor. If you need to go to the hospital and you feel you need to go to the hospital, go to the hospital. I'm only sharing my story. And I do take my kids, or I did, they're older now, to the doctor if they needed it. So understand that, okay? I just didn't want to be misunderstandings as I speak because it might come across that way. So there's that disclaimer. So my story. It goes back to even when I was a little girl. And I remember having a stomach ache. And I remember sitting down and asking God to, to help my stomach ache go away. And it did. And I always held on to that for my whole life, right? I remember that to this day vividly doing that. So then later in life, um, you know, things started to happen and I had a lot of stress and anxiety and panic attacks that kept me at home and I went to the doctor and they couldn't find anything wrong and they said well if you can't get it together and stop this we're gonna have to give you Valium and I remember thinking no I don't want to do that so what gave me the strength at that point I was like okay because if we go back backtrack a little bit I was always scared I was scared of getting cancer I was scared of getting something that was going to kill me right and that might have attributed to those panic attacks but anyway I remember thinking well they couldn't find anything so then I'm okay Knowing that is what helped me overcome the anxiety because if any of you have had anxiety, you know it gets exacerbated as you're in the panic attack because you feel like you're dying, right? Or at least that's how I felt and I know others have felt that way. And so that exacerbated this the anxiety and panic, right? And it would affect you even after the panic attack. It would still affect you. I mean, you'd just be exhausted, you know, after those that happened right so I was able to overcome myself the anxiety and panic attacks because I was like okay I they didn't find anything so what am I going to stress about it's me doing this right so that was just another thing that gave me like I have the power to heal and overcome things right So then we get a little bit older and I, well, I'm going to add this one in. It it didn't really pertain to me becoming a healer, but uh, they found I was hmm, 25, 23, maybe 23. um, And before I got married and they had found a lump in my breast and I remember panicking and getting so stressed out. And so they had me go do a mammogram and an ultrasound. And I remember waiting and waiting and waiting. Like, I don't know how long it was, but it was a miserable wait, waiting for those results. And I remember being frustrated with the the healthcare community at that point, thinking, this is not okay. They don't understand what they're putting people through. They're causing them more stress and anxiety by holding off the results that they have already, right? So that was just another thing. There was nothing wrong. I was fine. Um, In fact, it disappeared after I breastfed my children. So moving forward then, as I had children and, you know, they would get ear infections and strep throat and all these things, I uh, 
one time specifically because I would take them, get the antibiotics, give it to them, you know, they would heal it and we'd move on. But one time in specific, we went to the doctor. This is another thing against the healthcare community. <laughs> Even though they are good for us, they do help, but it's not always, they don't always have it together that they're helping people. Okay, so took my son, he had an ear infection. They gave me a, a prescription to get antibiotics for it. We took it into the pharmacy and they couldn't get it to us until the next day and later that next day. So I started uh, giving or dropping Mulian oil into my son's ears. Well, by the next day, he wasn't in pain anymore. And he wasn't, understand, he was in pain. So he wasn't in pain anymore. And we went and got the prescription, but we never gave it to him because it healed him. It healed his ear infection. So then move forward a little bit farther and maybe sometime around then I found, um, you know, starting to, because my kids were getting sick, right? So I found this book, Natural Cures They Don't Want You to Know About, I think was the book. It's one the guy got arrested for, but it was the best book. And it, it to this day, I use the stuff that I learned in that book because that was my first look at, wow, okay this is what you can do to help your health. And when was I started rebounding? I started, I got rid of all the chemical cleaners. Uh, so I started using all natural cleaners in the house. And it, it's because my kids were sick and it was miserable. So I was desperate to like, what can I do, you know, to help our immune systems? So I started implementing all these things, you know, one at a time. I wasn't I did, sometimes I did a few together, but I didn't overwhelm myself, but I slowly changed and I started doing the rebounder, which I, to this day I use and I love it because it helps you uh, drain your lymph nodes. It's amazing. Plus it's a great workout. So I found that book and I started doing all these natural things, you know, and it, it helped. It helped the children not be as sick. It made a difference in our life, you know. And so then go on a little bit farther and um, my family members, my parents, uh, you know, started getting sicknesses, you know, that really, I'm like, there's got to be something else that, that can help them. And I started doing Qigong and um, that was an energy movement, but, you know, energy and you're doing movement kind of like yoga. And I did that for a little bit. But my kids were still little and they would always interrupt it. And so it was starting to stress me out more than it was helping me because I couldn't really concentrate on it. Now, as I've gotten older, I've learned to be able to do that. But at the time I couldn't. So I quit rather than getting angry at my kids, you know, all the time. So I quit doing it. But from there then, um, my husband sent me to Miraval because uh, I needed a retreat. And so I went and that's where I had my first healing session. And I felt the healing energy and I was like, oh, I got to do that. So I came back and I found um, a mentor to teach me healing. And I learned Reiki and I learned uh, two other modalities. And so I use all of that now in my healing practice with my clients. And what I've noticed recently and what brought to mind is I've seen several people and lately on YouTube actually, well I've had one that was a friend and one that I just saw, a, a YouTube person, where they went to the hospital and they were sitting there for hours, hours and hours. I mean it could have been, I can't remember the exact, but it was like some of them were eight hours, some of them might have been four hours, in miserable pain without being helped. And it reminded me because I took my son in one point because he was throwing up so much and he was lethargic and they just left us in the waiting area for hours and I got upset. I went up and got upset and they actually called security on me, <laughs> which is funny. I mean, like I wasn't going to do anything, but I was mad and they, I just felt they didn't care and I understand they're overwhelmed and stuff, but they are overwhelmed and they don't always have the answers for you. And I'm, you should still go to the doctor. I'm not saying don't go. But also you should start looking into things to help you yourself. 
right? Be more self-sufficient. That's where we're leaning and going these days with the world. It's about taking responsibility for ourselves, you know? Get the help when you need, but start looking and researching for yourself at what will help you because it's rough. It's rough if you have a situation and you have to go to the hospital or the doctor. I have, I started my business with helping undiagnosed illness people because one of my clients, they could not find out what was wrong with him. And he had neck problems. They had an MRI, a CAT scan, and I don't remember all the things they ran, um, but they couldn't find out what was wrong. And he was just in miserable pain. So that's the other thing. A lot of times, energetically, it's showing up in your body, but it's not showing physically yet. And, you know, doctors can't find that if it's not physical. And there is things that aren't physical that they can't find, that, that aren't physical, that are causing you pain just as if it was physical. So that's how I got into the healing. And that's how I started doing this. And then you know, it came up again recently about why I do this, watching these people in the emergency room. And again, they would have to be there. I'm not saying they would go see a healer at that point, but if you can start looking into things yourself, you start taking care of yourself, you might not have to go as often to deal with the emergency room like that, you know? And again, don't get angry. You might still have to go at times, but you can help yourself feel better, live a little bit healthier life by looking into things that would help you. And that's all I did was start researching. Now, of course, I was drawn to that. And this, and you know, I 100% believe this is my soul path was meant to be here and do these things. And I look at back at my life and see how everything fell into place. 100% I was supposed to do this. But I like to give this information to help somebody else out there who might you know, need it, might need the encouragement to research and find their own things that they see that jumps out at them that might help them with their healing. So that's what I've got for today. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope maybe it helps you and inspires you to start looking into things for yourself to help you on your healing journey. So let's get ready for the healing meditation. But first, I want to mention that I have several ways that you can work with me. I have a membership group, which is $9.99 a month, and I have other ways like sessions you can have, etc. All the links are below in the description if you feel like you need more help on your healing journey. So let's get ready for the healing meditation. If you are driving or using heavy machinery, you need to stop listening to the podcast now because we are going to be doing a healing meditation and the energy is very powerful and can make you sleepy and lose concentration. Come back when you stop driving or using the heavy equipment and enjoy the healing meditation. All right, let's get ready for the healing meditation. I want you to close your eyes. Go ahead and take a deep breath in now. Hold it and exhale. Another deep breath in, hold it, and exhale. And one last deep breath in, hold it. This time on the exhale, relax your whole body. All right, I want you to imagine this blue light coming in the top of your head and this red light coming up from your root chakra, both going to your heart. So the blue is coming down to your heart and the red is coming up to your heart. Those two colors are gonna blend and make violet. I want you to imagine this violet light spreading out throughout your body. It's getting larger and larger. It's going up into your head. It's clearing and cleansing and purifying anything that no longer serves you. It's going down your arms, down into your solar plexus, and your sacral, and then down to your root, 
and down both legs, all the way down to your feet. And once it fills up your physical body, that violet color flame is going to spread out into your energy, filling up your aura, cleansing, clearing, and purifying everything. All right, now I want you to imagine this gold light coming down from God, source, whatever your belief is. It's going down into your heart. You're going to imagine that light just spreading just like we did with the violet flame. Spreading out up into your head, neck, shoulders, down your arms, your chest, your solar plexus, your sacral, your root, now down both legs. And again, as it fills up your body, now it's going to fill up your aura, your whole energy. So you're just surrounded and in this gold light. Now I want you to imagine this blue light coming into the top of your head. It's going down to your heart. And this blue light's coming and then it's going to come up from your root also chakra and meeting in your heart. So it's coming down from your crown chakra and your root chakra and then it's meeting in your heart. These blue lights are going to start twirling in counterclockwise direction. You're going to imagine them going into a look like a tornado and it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger until it's as big as your whole body. Once it's as big as your whole body, I want you to imagine an X at the end of this tornado. You're disconnecting from anything that is no longer serving your highest and best with this. All right, now again, I want you to imagine this gold light coming into the top of your head. It's filling up your heart again. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to send healing energy to those that have harmed you. And if you've been with me for a while, you know we do this to heal for you, right? So I want you to send this healing energy from your heart to them, but only to right at the edge of them because you can't force healing on them. But you want to put it there so if they want it, they can take it. This is to heal for you, not for them. You don't have to be around them, hang around them, talk to them. It's up to you. But you need to heal it for you. So send that healing now from you to them. And heal all the situations that happened that have hurt you. And now when you feel that's done, I want you to do the same thing for those you may have harmed. And if you can't think of it, just do it with the intention that it goes to those may, that have, you may have harmed. Same thing, send the healing from you to them, just to the edge of their energy, so they can decide if they want it or not. And this is helping for you to heal. And them also. Now I want you to send 
gold light. You're going to bring it down from the top of your head to your heart. Send gold light to those people in your family. Now I want you to add sending gold light to those in your city. And now send gold light to those in your state. And now send gold light to everyone in your country. And now send gold light to everyone around the world. All right, when you feel that's done, bring the gold light back into your heart. And I'm going to send healing energy now to you, so sit back and relax, and I will send it now. If you feel any twitching throughout your body, it's just the energy breaking blockages. So just relax through it. Okay, go ahead and take a deep breath in now. Hold it. And this time on the exhale, release everything that came up for you that needs to be released. Open your eyes. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. All right, that's what I have for today. Go have a great day. Go do something you love, something that brings you joy and lifts you up. Do at least one thing every day that you love to do. And then do at least one thing of self-care every day. Drink tea, Epsom salt bath, pray, meditate, whatever it is. Do at least one self-care every day. And then look for the good in everything. Look for the good everywhere in everything. And when you see something good in somebody, say it to them and write 10 things you're grateful for. Do these things, and I promise you, you're going to start to see a difference in your life. So that's all I have for today. I love you all. Have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye.